across the Pacific Northwest are looking closely at the Cascadia subduction zone, trying to figure out when the big one will finally hit. And the science of predicting earthquakes is still very much a mystery, but some new findings from the University of Oregon could be pointing these scientists in the right direction. It starts with a sound so faint that only the most sensitive instruments can catch its pulse. No sirens or shrieks, not the groaning of bridges or the clashing of plates, just the soft, persistent tremor rising from the darkness beneath Portland. You can't feel it. You can't hear it. Yet, every day and night, this city stands trembling on the edge of something ancient and possibly disastrous. For centuries, Portland has lived with the subtle anxiety of the Cascadia subduction zone, a colossal underwater fault waiting just offshore, infamous for cataclysms that have reshaped the entire Pacific Northwest. But what if the greatest hazard lurks closer at hand? What if, buried beneath the city's feet, there's a fault line hidden in shadow, one revealed not by tectonic violence, but by a sequence of deep, mysterious tremors? Now, using ground-penetrating radar and ultra-sensitive seismic networks, geophysicists are uncovering long hidden features beneath the urban landscape. This is not the story of the last great quake, nor the prediction of the next one alone. This is a tale of the invisible world beneath Portland, where ancient rocks strain against each other and where silence can be the loudest warning of all. Tonight, we descend beneath the city's skin into a realm of micro-earthquakes, invisible ruptures, and clues etched in stone and measured in tremors. Sometimes, what you don't feel is exactly what you should fear most. Could Portland be perched atop a threat far more immediate than previously realized? And if so, what is the true story hidden in the tremor beneath our feet? Just about a half hour ago, we had an earthquake reported right here, pretty much near the Portland metro area. It registered 3.0, according to the USGS. And on the phone with us this morning... The ghosts in the seismograph. Portland lays draped across a layered puzzle, a patchwork of river valleys, basalt flows, and buried fractures stretching back millions of years. Generations have built and rebuilt atop this restless ground often unaware of the complex story beneath their foundations. Yet for those who listen, who devote themselves to monitoring the hum and rattle of the geologic world, Portland is alive in a way few cities are. It began, as these discoveries often do, with a whisper in the data. Over recent years, a new breed of seismic sensors, arrays far more sensitive than anything previously deployed, have turned the city and its surroundings into one of the most closely watched seismic theaters in North America. These are not ordinary earthquake detectors. These instruments can catch the flick of a grain of sand deep in the earth, the most modest shiver of rock. And what they caught beneath Portland was astonishing, a steady, almost rhythmic pulse of micro-earthquakes, events far too small to be felt at the surface, but far too consistent to ignore. Most were measured with negative magnitudes, their energy no greater than that released by a falling brick, but their pattern was not random. Instead, these tremors clustered in thin ribbons, running not along the familiar outlines of the distant Cascadia subduction zone, but cutting diagonally beneath the city itself. For weeks, scientists traded digital maps and spectral graphs, debating the meaning of this discrete, but persistent seismic signature. Was it simply background noise, an echo of distant storms shifting groundwater? Or, as some began to suspect, was it the telltale heartbeat of something deeply buried, a hidden, active fault with a story all its own? The evidence quickly mounted. Each night, while the city above slept, the earth below emitted a sequence of barely detectable tremors, the same fault, moving the same way, again and again, like the ticking of an old clock, familiar, but suddenly unsettling. What could drive such repetition? What was the source of these spectral pulses? And could they signal a threat sleeping just beneath the city, waiting for its moment to awaken? Beneath the surface, mapping the invisible rift. To many, the fault lines of Portland are out of sight and out of mind. 
anxiety for distant geologists and disaster planners, the phrase Cascadia subduction zone might as well be an incantation, a rumor whispered on the wind from far offshore. But today, ground-penetrating radar and satellite-based measurements are rewriting the city's geologic story. University labs hum with data streaming in real time, 3D renderings of soil, stone, and what lies between. It's a science that's part art, each blip on the screen, a breadcrumb on a trail nobody suspected. What emerges is a haunting image, a fault slicing through the earth at an angle, almost parallel to the Willamette River, but far deeper and more insidious. Unlike the great offshore subduction megathrust, this structure is local and sharply defined. Its course passes not just through bedrock, but through the heart of some of Portland's oldest neighborhoods. The radar sees what the eye cannot, the way ancient landslides drape over old scarps, the subtle shifts in soil layers where the real boundary quietly yawn. Some slices are buried beneath layers of volcanic ash from eruptions long forgotten. Others dip beneath the downtown skyline, silent but ever-present. Equipped with this map, seismologists compare the micro-earthquake clusters to the geometry of the newly revealed fault. The overlaps are striking, like stars mapping out invisible constellations. The tremor signatures trace the fault's unseen path. If this is indeed a previously unknown active fault beneath Portland, the implications are profound. For decades, disaster preparedness has focused on the massive offshore threat. But here, underfoot, is the possibility of a more immediate, unpredictable risk. How long has it been slipping in silence? And what happens when that silence finally breaks? The language of micro-earthquakes. To most people, earthquakes are defined by chaos, toppled brick, shattered glass, and a world gone suddenly fluid. But to geophysicists, the smallest quakes hold the greatest clues. Deep below the threshold of human perception, a new language is spoken. In recent years, research across North America has illuminated the power of micro-earthquakes to reveal hidden dangers. In Oklahoma and Kansas, regions once thought seismically quiet, scientists detected faint, repetitive tremors, harbingers of larger shocks, sometimes traced to previously unmapped faults and sometimes linked to human activities such as injection wells. Advanced sensor networks tuned to high sensitivity captured these signals, assembling them into clear maps of subsurface weakness. Now the same technology and analytical methods are focused on Portland. The micro tremors, the ghost quakes, are organized into swarms, intricate and repeating like coded drumming. When scientists plot these, the pattern is unmistakable, a linear fault, one that had evaded mapping and memory. Deep learning algorithms pour over the data, searching for consistency. The sequences are not random, but represent stick-slip motion, the classic calling card of a locked fault shifting in bursts rather than a smooth release. Some of the signals show repetition, reminiscent of patterns seen on faults like California's Hayward Fault, a fault that, according to a 2024 USGS update, has a 31% chance of producing a magnitude 6.7 or greater event in the next three decades. Could similar risk reside beneath Portland? Is the city's tranquility just a thin mask over a history of periodic upheaval? Patterns emerge. Swarms may intensify with factors such as heavy rainfall or subtle atmospheric changes as the Earth responds to influences both above and below. These microquakes sometimes cluster at deeper levels overnight, as if the Earth, relieved of daytime activity at the surface, takes the opportunity to slip unseen. Are these tiny quakes foreshocks, or are they simply a pressure gauge, hinting at how close the fault is to something larger? The segmented reality of risk. Popular imagination envisions a fault as a single, sinister cut through the earth, a vast, unbroken scar. In reality, faults are often complex and segmented. Recent studies of the Cascadia subduction zone have revealed that it is not a monolithic structure, but a segmented fault. It doesn't rupture all at once, but in distinct episodes, 
each segment possessing a character of its own. Some are predisposed to frequent motion, others remain locked for centuries. The same appears true for Portland's hidden fault. Radar and seismic mapping reveal not a single break, but a braided structure, a tangle of interwoven segments. Some run shallow, just beneath construction or historic brick. Others cut deeper, embedded in volcanic basement rocks. Segmentation matters because it shapes the risk. Some branches of the fault may move in isolation, generating local but powerful events. Others could set off a chain reaction with one movement triggering adjacent segments. In worst case scenarios, what begins as a local tremor escalates into a wider rupture. Elsewhere in the world, reassessments of familiar faults have brought surprises. The Hayward Fault's updated risk highlights uncertainties in segmentation. The Campi Flegre Caldera in Italy and similar active zones demonstrate how overlooked fault segments can catch communities off guard. Could Portland's fault behave similarly? Could a rupture in one hidden strand awaken others? Geologists and urban planners confront this uncertainty as they consider whether tomorrow's hazard is already accumulating stone by stone beneath the city. Silent uplift and the surprising evidence of motion. While tremors tell us where to look, the Earth's subtle shifts reveal what's happening now. Portland's skyline, its bridges, towers, and highways rests upon the slow, nearly imperceptible motion of the land itself. High-precision GPS networks stationed across the city have documented tiny but consistent vertical movements, fractions of a millimeter per year. At first, these seem academic, but the pattern is revealing. Zones of uplift align closely to the trace of the hidden fault, forming a gentle bulge as found in active fault systems worldwide. Three-dimensional satellite radar, NSAR, offers another line of evidence. This technology peers through clouds and buildings, mapping how the city flexes and shifts. The measured asymmetry, one side rising slightly, the other sinking, matches the textbook profile of a locked, accumulating fault. In other places, persistent uplift has been a precursor to greater geologic activity. In Italy, ground inflation signaled unrest at Campi Flegre, and in Chile, the swelling of Laguna del Mal preceded concern. Always, it was the slow and irregular ground motions that warned of change. Portland's deformation rates are not yet extreme. The city stands unbuckled, its rivers steady, but the persistence and alignment of uplift is a caution. Where infrastructure overlays fractured basalt or clay-rich soils, risk is highest. Water and sewer line, roads, and core neighborhoods cross the fault sphere of influence. Lessons from long ago, a city built on fragile ground. Step back and Portland's hazard appears less unprecedented. The Willamette Valley has felt Earth's force before, sometimes gently, sometimes with shattering violence. Indigenous legends speak of land that moved as if alive, of floods rolling where none had been, echoing accounts of great quakes passed down for generations. 325 years ago, the Cascadia subduction zone unleashed one of the world's strongest earthquakes. This colossal event rattled the continent, triggered tsunamis that crossed the Pacific and reshaped the coastline. Along the shore, ghost forests of cedar and spruce remain, a silent testimony to rapid land subsidence and saltwater inundation. Yet even that great quake's epicenter lay offshore, many miles from Portland. The city felt shaking, but survived. For Portland, the greatest risk may not be the distant subduction zone, but faults woven through its own foundation. Geologic evidence supports this possibility. Changes in ancient river courses, thick layers of jumbled sediment, and old landslides hint at episodes of local seismicity. Archaeological sites sometimes show displacement, not just by floods, but by clusters of silt and sand linked to shaking. Historical records from early settlers reference earthy tears and strange trembling of the ground, incidents variously blamed on storms or volcanic action, but consistent with moderate earthquakes of untraceable origin. While not all such stories can be verified, new mapping lends credibility to the notion that past shaking may have come from faults nearer the city than previously assumed. Until now, 
No one could point to a responsible fault. Its traces lay buried, masked by later floods, urban growth, and the work of time. But new geophysical evidence draws a line through these mysteries, revealing correlations between microquakes, old landslide scars, and disturbed soil layers. If this hidden fault has ruptured before, the cycle of quiet and violence may not be finished. Preparedness and blind spots, rethinking urban risk. For decades, Portland's emergency plans focused on the massive, distant threat of Cascadia. Drills and retrofits target the offshore menace, envisioning tsunamis and powerful shaking conveyed from miles away. Evacuation plans, infrastructure resilience, and public education campaigns, these have centered on hazards traced to the subduction zone. But if a hidden fault beneath Portland itself is active, the risk scenario changes. A shallow, local quake, even at moderate magnitude, could create far more intense shaking than a larger, distant event. The ground could jolt with limited warning, striking critical infrastructure at its weakest points. Historic neighborhoods, industrial zones, and iconic bridges may be less prepared for shaking from below. Many structures predate recognition of earthquake hazards. The city's bridges, in particular, span not only water, but the pathways of past geologic flows, raising concerns about their vulnerability to sudden, concentrated ground motion. In other cities, such as Christchurch, New Zealand, formerly overlooked faults have produced havoc when active, transforming risk assessments overnight. While Portland's new fault may not mirror those events in timing or severity, the precedent is cause for vigilance. And most crucially, will Portlanders accept that the familiar ground beneath their feet may be the greatest variable in the city's earthquake future? A city awaits between calm and catastrophe. Today, life in Portland moves on. Commuters crossing bridges, cyclists weaving through tree-lined boulevards, markets bustling beneath changing skies, the silent tremors and the fault they illuminate exist mostly outside daily attention. Yet science advances, measuring every minor quake and careful rise of the ground. Some residents heed the warnings. Others settle back into daily routines, the news fading behind more immediate realities. But for scientists and officials, each microquake is a data point, every centimeter of uplift a clue. The emerging patterns echo those found elsewhere, in regions where disaster struck sooner and with less warning than anyone expected. Portland's risk, more local than previously recognized, is now a focus of continuing attention. And so the city waits suspended between calm and catastrophe, between memory of past disasters and anticipation of surprises yet to come. The tremors may continue quietly for years, or they may crescendo unexpectedly. There are no timelines, no guarantees, only the ceaseless hum of the earth and an evolving story of stone and silence. Beneath Portland's rolling hills and winding rivers, in the bedrock that anchors daily life, the fault waits, old, and inscrutable, recording the press of buildings, the flow of the Willamette, and the footfalls of everyone above. Its subtle motion is witnessed by the instruments tuned to every tremor. Is this slow buildup, the city's heartbeat in rock, a warning or a sign of reassurance? Only time will tell. And in Portland, as in all places set atop restless ground, time is measured not in years or deeds, but in the quiet but persistent tremor of the hidden earth. Stay curious, stay informed, but above all, stay alert. If you value uncovering the mysteries below our cities, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more updates on unseen forces shaping our world. And tell us in the comments, does Portland's newfound fault change how you see the ground beneath your feet? Thanks for watching, and remember, in the silence beneath us, the earth is always waiting to speak.